Governor DeWine also signed Tyler's Law, which strengthens regulations on amusement rides after a deadly accident at the Ohio State Fair two years ago. The abortion battle in Ohio didn't end with the heartbeat bill. The state Senate just passed two new bills today as other Ohio abortion laws still sit in legal limbo. News 5's Olivia Fecto live in the studio tonight with what's in those bills and what's next, Olivia? Yeah, good evening, Danita. Both of the abortion bills passed by the Ohio Senate today put new restrictions on doctors. Pro-life organizations were in favor of the passage of those two bills, as were a majority of Ohio senators. This is most definitely not what many would call an anti-abortion bill. It is quite simply a pro-living baby bill. It is a pro-newborn infant bill. And we need to get it on our governor's desk for his consideration with all due haste. But NARAL Pro-Choice Ohio is firmly against both bills that passed the Ohio Senate today. We think that uh, when it comes to medical decisions, patients and doctors should be making those decisions, not legislators who are unqualified. One of those bills, Senate Bill 155, requires physicians to inform women seeking a drug-induced abortion about the possibility of reversing the process if she changes her mind before taking the second of a two-drug regimen. Supporters say it gives women more information and a chance to change their minds if they choose. And it's not at all hard hard to difficult to imagine a woman in the middle of this process having second thoughts. Opponents, including the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, say claims about abortion reversal treatments aren't based on science and don't meet clinical standards, compromising patient care and safety. The second bill, Senate Bill 208, requires doctors to report when a child is born alive after an attempted abortion. Doctors who purposely don't preserve the life of that child would face criminal penalties. The bill also requires doctors to report in writing that, as far as they're aware, the woman didn't seek an abortion because of a Down syndrome diagnosis in the fetus. Earlier this fall, a federal appeals court blocked Ohio's law that would have prohibited abortion based on a Down syndrome diagnosis. NARAL Pro-Choice Ohio Executive Director Kelly Copeland says these bills and others related to abortion are an effort to stigmatize and criminalize abortion in the state. These are designed to put abortion out of reach, to, ha to create so many barriers that physicians won't want to provide that care to their patients or perhaps leave Ohio. We've seen many doctors do that. And those two bills will now head to the Ohio House for consideration there. If the bills are signed into law, they'll likely be challenged in court. Live in the studio, Olivia Fecto, News 5.